Hi, welcome to a color log video tutorial. My name is Mahesh. I also go by the handle Vyoma. In this tutorial, we'll be looking at setting up Inkscape for isometric illustration. This is a tutorial I made for colorlog.com. If you are viewing this video on YouTube or elsewhere, do check out the website at colorlog.com. I have posted several tutorials and articles on drawing, illustration and painting. Okay, isometric projection is a type of axonometric projection. It is commonly used in engineering drawing. It is also used in some forms of infographics. While creating 3D illustrations in isometric projection, it becomes easy to draw if there is an isometric grid to be used as a guide. Inkscape makes it quite straightforward to set up an isometric grid. I am using Inkscape version 0.48 here. The feature to set up grids should be available in at least couple of older versions. Let us start. Open up Inkscape and choose document properties from the file menu. You can do the same from the toolbars too. Now in the document properties dialog, switch to the grids tab. From the drop down menu, select axonometric grid. Click on the new button. By default, the angles would be configured for isometric grid. That is 30 degrees for angle X and angle Z. If it is not so, set it to 30 degrees. Now you may wish to change the spacing parameter if you like the grid lines uh, to be farther apart. So here I am setting it at 5 and you can see that it is getting updated in the background here. You can now close the dialog, dialog box. <coughs> Before you start, make sure you have the snap to grid options selected in the snap bar. Now this makes it easy to position the points or nodes at the grid intersections. Now we are ready for creating some isometric illustrations. Let us do a quick illustration for now. And there you have it. Hope you like this tutorial. Please do not hesitate to ask questions in the comments section. And remember, if you are not watching this at colorlog.com, head over there now. Thank you.